Hi Phantoms fans, Bob Rotrug here with your Lehigh Valley Phantoms weekend preview. This weekend coming to you from snowy St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada. And actually it's it's not too snowy, it's not too bad. We had a few flakes today, but, but that's expected when you're all the way out east at the very beginning of the Trans-Canada Highway here at Mile 1 Center, named because it's the first uh, mile of the Transcontinental Highway. Now here's, here's the deal here, I mean a lot of fans don't know where St. John's is. Philadelphia to St. John's, that's about 1,200 miles. St. John's to Reykjavik, Iceland, 1,600 miles. So if you were to fly from Philadelphia to Iceland, here where we are right now in St. John's, is about the midway point. And here are the Newfies, as they call them, the Newfoundlanders. They are some of the nicest people in the world. And you know, there's a very distinct accent as well. They are they are Newfoundlanders before they are Canadians. They they have that Newfie pride. And and the accent is a very uh, Irish style accent. And you wouldn't think that coming to Canada, but that really is the case with many of the locals here in St. John's. But they are absolutely hockey crazy. They love their St. John's ice caps who are in their fourth season in the league, as you, you might be able to see over my shoulder. The affiliates of the Winnipeg Jets. They went to the Calder Cup Finals last year. They lost to the Texas Stars in the Finals. Different team this year. They're missing Andrew Gordon, who was on this team last season. A bit of a homecoming for him, but of course now he's with us and the Phantoms. They're, they're hanging around barely in the Eastern Conference race. They're pretty far back. They're hoping that they can catch the Phantoms and maybe leapfrog past them if they do well in this weekend series. The Phantoms, of course, have other ideas. Uh, the one reason why they're, they're still hanging around this very low-scoring team is the play of their talented 21-year-old rookie goaltender named Connor Hellebuck, who had a heck of a game in Lehigh Valley at PPL Center when we saw St. John's there back in November. And the Ice Caps actually won that game in overtime. For the Phantoms, they're coming into this on a two-game winning streak, but that was a week ago when they won last Friday and Saturday down south in Norfolk, Virginia. These are the fourth and fifth games of a long five-game road trip for the Phantoms. Feels like forever since our last home game, doesn't it? It's all the way back to last year, December 27th, and we still don't come back home until Friday, January 16th. And by the way, we're busting out the brand new orange jerseys in that game. That was just announced yesterday as well. So that's going to be a lot of fun to see uh, the new orange jersey look for the Phantoms who will wear those orange jerseys every Friday home game. And then next Saturday night on Legends Night, Bobby Clark comes to town. And that's going to be just a very special evening and your chance to meet Bobby Clark. By the way, both of those games next weekend are pretty much sold out. Standing room only tickets are available. And that means that we don't have a whole lot of seats left. So, you know, we've been having the big crowds at PPL Center and the Phantoms have played such exciting hockey there. It would behoove you to get your tickets in advance for our upcoming home games. PPLCenter.com or call PPL Center at 610-347-TICKS. Now, some of the Phantoms news here. Brandon Manning, he was named to the Eastern Conference All-Stars. He'll represent the Phantoms in Utica, New York at the AHL All-Star Game in a couple of weeks. Second time for Brandon Manning, the top point getter on the Phantoms this year. Second time for him to receive that honor. Uh, I was just watching the Flyers and Boston Bruins game on TV here while I was setting up here at Mile One Center, and I saw the injury there to Steve Mason. Now, if he is going to be out for their next game for the Flyers, which is Monday, then the Flyers are going to have to scramble to get Rob Zepp down there if, he, if they intend to use him as their backup goalie. It is a long process to fly, as you might imagine, from St. John's back to the United States, but they would have time to, to send Zepp, get him on a plane, separately on Sunday. In the meantime, we have our own games here. Uh, Daryl Powell is not with us on this trip. He has a lingering, nagging upper body injury issue. Mark Alt is still going to be out for a few weeks. A broken hand on a blocked shot on New Year's Eve at Binghamton, so he did not travel with us, and, and neither did Shane Gostisbehere, of course. However, there is news out of Ortiz that Gostisbehere is getting skating, still has some soreness in his knee after his ACL injury, but he's getting closer and closer to returning maybe over a month away, but still, it's good to hear that things are progressing very well for the Ghost after his knee injury. Taylor Lear missed both games in Norfolk, Virginia last weekend with his shoulder injury that he took on a hit by Norfolk defenseman Matt Clark the previous weekend. However, Taylor Lear traveled with the team on this trip. He's going to be in the lineup tonight. However, Terry Murray may be kind of easing him back in in a slightly different role. Lear will be on the fourth line, and as a fourth liner, you wouldn't expect him to get his many minutes. Rob Zepp is slated to be the starting goalie tonight for the Phantoms. Whether he will tomorrow in the afternoon rematch, that remains to be seen. He might be on a plane on his way back to Philadelphia if Ron Hextall decides they're going to need him there to be a backup goalie to Emery if Steve Mason is out. 
on and on it goes. It's crazy, isn't it? Uh, the Phantoms are one point back of the eighth place spot in the Eastern Conference, and they have games in hand on the two teams directly ahead of them, being the Providence Bruins and the Bridgeport Sound Tigers. By win percentage, point percentage, the Phantoms are actually in seventh place right now. But by total points, by virtue of having played fewer games, Phantoms in tenth place. You better believe these players know exactly where they are in the standings. They, they keep up with this stuff, and they know that a four-point weekend here in St. John's would be huge and could vault the Phantoms officially by points and not just point percentage into the top eight in the Eastern Conference. We're in a different time zone here in St. John's. It's an hour and a half difference. Yeah, one and a half hours. So it's a 7.30 game time in the Newfoundland time zone with that 6 o'clock Eastern time broadcast coverage tonight at 5.15 on Fox 1470 as well on Fox1470.com. By the way, the Sunday game, that's at 2.30 Eastern time and we'll have the pregame show for you at 1.45. Homecoming here for Andrew Gordon, who played for St. John's last season, and he's from Halifax, Nova Scotia. Just a hop, skip, and a jump away across the Maritimes. Zach Stortini made his pro debut here 12 years ago as a member called up to the Toronto Roadrunners of the AHL, and they played at St. John's. And Riley Cote, our assistant coach, he played for the St. John's Maple Leafs that they used to have, and that's where he made his AHL debut. So a lot of memories for some of our guys right here in this very building. I'm Bob Rochark. That's your Phantoms preview. I'll talk to you tonight with the pregame show show beginning at 5.15 on Fox 1470.